my name is Matt Dorn, and as I said, when I first jumped on, um, I'm in the process right now of trying to find a job since the job that I had recently, they closed all <laughs> operations. So, and it, and it, it, it happened very sudden. So it came as, as quite a, sh a, 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 a sh shock. So I've just been uh, applying to as many places as I can. Um, but besides that, I am 29 years old. I live in Pennsylvania. I am an, a, a Phillies fan. Even though the Eagles got spanked by the Cowboys, and that was not a fun game to watch. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, I have been stuttering since, uh, I mean, as far back as I can read remember when I started to first talk. But I actually had an interesting topic which I wanted to get people's th thoughts on. Recently, I saw the King's speech. I'm not sh 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 sure if everybody in here has seen that. But it's, it's about King George the the sixth, who had a stutter, and in in a time of in a time of crisis, he had to to give a big speech to rally all the people to uh, I guess to come together. But the the thing that I found quite interesting about that whole f whole film is is th the actor Colin Firth who played King King George he he is a person who does not stutter and I found out that after f after filming for that movie finished up he actually developed a stutter himself so that begs the question is stuttering a a learned behavior and if it is can it be on learned and um so th that's the topic that that i would like to get people's thoughts on okay well what we'll do is i just in my air time though i would say i do most of my talking playing on Line video games. I I talked to my friends and and sometimes if I'm feeling courageous, I'll talk to a couple strangers. So this is something that uh, that my speech therapist. Mm -hmm. came up with who I'm currently uh, seeing and I, I practice it by, my, by myself just like talking to myself like 10 to 15 minutes every day and then um, I've been practicing with my family and, uh, and and I've been just, been just trying to like have 
simple conversations because I I feel the the more complex a conversation is the the harder it is to talk about it so um mm -hmm. so I've been keeping the the practices very simple but as as far as trying to apply it out in public I I can't it, it just doesn't feel like how people typically talk all right. Um, that's right. I've actually been in speech therapy now for six months. Mm -hmm. And um, and you would think after spending all that time that I could take it out in public and just talk to people. But um, I think... I think the intended purpose for it was to like try to speak calmly, like, like try, try not to hit every sound too hard. But it's tough, especially if I'm talking about an interesting topic. I just get so ex so excited and I I feel so anxious that I feel it's impossible to hit certain sounds very softly. Mm -hmm. Well, I agree. It's very difficult to, to speak softly when you are excited. Yeah. It's... Yeah, it's just an unnatural. So for six months, you were using some from time to time this technique and others. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, Шесть месяцев это срок использования этой техники. Ну как бы логопед, видимо, считал, что она будет полезно ему в жизни, но как-то, видимо, не особо полезно. Шесть месяцев, о господи, это что за лопет такой? Ну вот они такие все. А по сколько часов вообще? Просто интересно, это раз в месяц, либо два, то есть какая периодичность была? Это тоже важно, потому что а, нам из него вот это все надо будет вытаскивать за один пробный урок, чтобы он этим не пользовался, потому что а, uh -huh. Если он а, привык за полгода делать что-то вот так вот, да, то это уже как бы другой разговор, то нам нужно будет его даже не, не немножечко, а плотно отучивать вот этого, потому что за полгода можно уже бессознательно использовать что-то, привыкнуть. Это, это ужас, это кошмар. Uh -huh. Это крейзи. Алекс, с какой периодичностью? Да, мы сначала все Ну, каждый день сказал, что по 15 минут. Но это сам дома, да, с собой? Да, ну а так, видимо, не так часто. Перья как-то. Ладно, ну и все-таки в сухом остатке логопед рекомендовал э, с этой техникой общаться с людьми или как? Угу. Mm -hmm. so, ну, для чего это нужно? At the end, uh, the, your speech therapist was advising to use this technique with people, right? Just to make it, it virtually, but uh, I told her that that I can currently only do it in front of family since family are considered safe people, and that they're the only people who will give you time to to take a full breath to to speak in that calm and easy sort of way whereas if you're talking with a complete stranger they're going to assume that that um that as soon 
as I uttered that I have a problem. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> That's a good question. Um, I, f I feel after that period of time, like I, I probably should have been able to make more realistic progress. But um, it, it's as I said before, it's like taking a taking a full breath and then speaking and then pausing that just isn't how people talk well, of course right so no progress and dynamics right? I, mean, I guess i guess in terms of like I feel that that, that that in certain situations, if I absolutely absolutely have to, I can I can uh, speak in that that easy controlled way, but it feels so forced, and I feel it takes away my personality a bit. You feel what? The last sentence? I feel that it takes a way mm -hmm. my personality. Oh, okay. When I first started, I was going every two weeks mm -hmm. and uh, because uh, I had to change the type of insurance I I had. The, the, the visits were no longer covered, so I had to pay out of pocket. So I've been switching from from a couple weeks to to once. Uh, months. Mm -hmm. I think my speech therapist has good <laughs> intentions, mm -hmm. but I don't think she 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 fully understands the problem because she doesn't stutter. Right. So. Like, and I feel the the progress that I have made so far can can only be really shown in this in the therapy room. Okay. Because that's a person who who is basically paid to sit there. Mm -hmm. and listen to the person speak for for however long it takes mm -hmm. whereas in out in public in conversation a lot of people don't have that same patience right and how long does your session to your session last they're actually very short. They're uh, 30 minutes. For half an hour. Um, it's not a secret. Well, as I said, when I started, my mm -hmm. insurance was covering, um, but, uh, yes. but since I've been paying out of pocket, Every visit is sixty-five dollars. 
some extreme cases where you just feel that you couldn't say this, but I don't think that you have that anymore. So that's possible to substitute some words, but... I feel since I've been more open about my stuttering, even before taking this, this course, mm -hmm. this course, I... I forgot what I... I lost my train of thought there. Um, I forgot now. I, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Who is it? I can't talk right now. Some some people are. Some people. Excuse me for that. Makes sense. Yeah. Sure. Oh, okay. I'd be open to that. Mm -hmm. So, like, what time? Same, I think, like, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Okay. I will mark my calendar. What is stuttering? Stuttering is a normal speech action, standard action, plus wrong actions of speech. How to get rid of stuttering? Eliminate it from your behavior. All the wrong actions and the standard will remain. What is the standard of the action? Standard action is a mathematically accurate reproduction of the sound sequence, the word, the name of the subject of speech. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Continue. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, that was the first paragraph. Yes, welcome. Uh, okay. I'm just <laughs> Giving him your word. Is it important to whom I carry my word, or is the word matter itself and its presence important? The presence of the word in memory is important, and to whom I bear is not important to anyone. Are words like money? If you haven't given the word to someone, you won't receive the good? Yes, words are like money. You did not give the word, you get nothing in return. Is vocabulary like a stock of money? Yes, the greater. Yes, the greater is the vocabulary, the greater is the language, and therefore the capital of the life. If I do reference every sound, would I get a reference audio sequence words? Yes, the echelon sound. Is it like a gold dollar? Yes, the echelon sound is more expensive than gold. If there is no sound, are you like a beggar? If there's no sound, you can't make a word out of it. If I do an irrational movement, I get a brain freeze, tension? Yes, basically you get nothing except the silent irrational action, stupid twitching. Why am I doing the irrational action effect and not the echelon? Стат Сэк говоря, матч. Теперь это э, пересказывает пусть фразами. Yeah. 
standard will remain. What is the standard of the action? Standard action is a mathematically accurate reproduction. Just saying those three words is a mouthful. <laughs> mouthful? It's, it, yeah, because mathematically has mathematically five mm -hmm. syllables. Accurate, accurate has three, and reproduction has okay. reproduction four. So it's just a mouthful to say all at once. That's what you did it great, correct? Yes. Of, of the sound sequence. The word is the name of the subject of speech. What are you telling people? You're giving him your word. Is it important to whom I carry my word, or is the word matter itself and its presence important? The presence of the word in memory is important and to whom I bear it's not important. Mm -hmm. Stop saying it. Теперь пусть расскажет своими словами то, что он сначала читал, потом пересказывал. And now please summarize what you have read and said. Since the title is talking about the lessons of clean speaking, it's explaining what stuttering is and the why it occurs. And stuttering occurs because it is the wrong speech action. So, so it's creating the the wrong movement which is the wrong standard for the, the right action. And in order to produce the right action, you have to have an accurate reproduction of the right movement. So then the, the second paragraph, it compares stuttering to money. And if you haven't given money in return, you won't get the goods. So it's the same with speech. If you can't create the right action and say the right words, then you won't get what you want. And actually, as I say that out loud, it just makes me think of, of all the situations when I was ordering in a fast food restaurant and I chose to get something else because it was easier to say instead of what I really wanted because I couldn't say the right words. <laughs> so it's true. <laughs> Согласен с тем, что он прочитал, это был первый, второй абзац. Mm -hmm. You say and to eat right? right? Wow. Right? And all in my students' years. That was the best years because I had so much free time and good. And have been taking part in different students' programs as like walk and travel and uh, the same in Italy. Yeah, I haven't been out, well, actually, I 
think it was like like at least five years now. Mm -hmm. But me and my family, we took a trip to the Bahamas. Oh, and we took a cruise. Unfortunately, the cruise was the worst part of the trip because mm -hmm. there wasn't much to do in terms of entertainment mm -hmm. and the food tasted terrible. And I easily get motion sickness, so I didn't quite enjoy being on the cruise. So, but when we finally got to uh, to the Bahamas, to our our not hotel, but uh, I'm not exactly sure what it was, but but the room that we stayed in was very small. And so while we were there, we took a couple sightseeing tours and we saw all the different types of people and their culture and it, it was very interesting stuff. Yeah. But that trip was very expensive. I. <laughs> I remember one, one tour we did in particular, it was a horseback riding tour, and I just remember my dad just, just flipping out because he, he wasn't allowed to take his camera with him on his horse, so he caused a huge scene, and <laughs> he got everybody staring at us, and my mom was, was quite embarrassed. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Probably it was because of the safety reasons, like... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now it's much easier to film anything if you have, like, GoPro or something that you can stick on your head or anywhere, so your hands are free. Yeah, but that was an interesting vacation. I wouldn't say it was our our best or even my favorite. Oh, which which was your uh, favorite? What is your favorite? My favorite is when we went to Hawaii. That's my dream. <laughs> so far away. Yeah, so, it, it, so my parents pretty much saved up their life savings to take that trip and it, it was quite an experience. I think it's, uh, it's one of the best things that you can spend your money, like education and traveling. That's two yeah. great things. So that's good that you went there. Did you, did you go there like all your family? No, no. <laughs> no? To take the entire family it would be way too expensive. Mm -hmm. It was me, my brother, and my mom and dad. Mm -hmm. And actually for that trip we also took a cruise. Mm -hmm. But this cruise ship was a lot more exciting than the, the Bahamas one. It actually had good entertainment, it had good food. Yeah. So everything can be seen like in comparison. In comparison with that cruise, this one was better. Oh, miles better. Yeah. I think my favorite thing though about the, the whole trip was well, actually, two things. I got to jump into a Hawaiian spring, which, and I, I learned while I was there that the Hawaiians are, are very spiritual. So they told me that the, the people who have the opportunity to, to jump into a 
called a Hawaiian spring. It brings good luck to, to that person for the, the rest of their lives. So as soon as I heard that, <laughs> especially being a person who stutters, I thought, yeah, okay. Was it too warm or cold? It was freezing cold. Um, that's even good for your health. <laughs> <laughs> Not only for like. <laughs> yeah. And then the, the second thing I did, we took a helicopter tour over an active volcano. So that was quite exciting. Yeah, pretty risky. <laughs> but more exciting. Yeah, it was certainly risky because I think a few weeks after we got back from that vacation, we heard on the news that that volcano had erupted. <laughs> so it's a good thing that you weren't there then. Sure, sure lucky, you got your lucky. <laughs> yeah. Um, safe, safe and sound. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sorry. Sure. I feel that that you guys have given me all of, all the right tools, all of, all the necessary in information. So. Now it's just a matter of applying it in an effective and always consistent way, which yeah. which I think will the the only way to do that is through trial and error. Yeah, and praising yourself and surprising yourself every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That too. <laughs> yeah, substituting and having more positive emotions and mm, memories mm -hmm. about speaking. Because you have so so many great moments <laughs> in future that you will, that you should face with a open mind and comfortable speech. Yeah. So that's that's what we wish you. And of course we are as usual can be in touch in Facebook or or yes, in Facebook, only in Facebook, or here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I just wanted to give some feedback from my parents and my siblings. Mm -hmm. My parents say that they can certainly see an improvement. My siblings all, all say that that this is the best decision that I could have made so far in relation to my speech. So, yeah, I just thought you guys should know that. Hmm? The feedback oh. of, from your parents, yes. <laughs> um, my parents say that they can certainly see an improvement. And all of my siblings say that this is the best decision that I've could have made so far in relation to my speech. They think that this is the certainly the most natural way of speaking that they've ever heard me talking in like years. Mm -hmm. That's so, great. Yeah. Thank you. I will. I will transfer it <laughs> to the mentor. So we'll, for sure, we can meet like in a month or 
as soon as you will be ready to give it, mm. us some feedback and uh, like the tell us the amount of the words that you still need to prepare or for example you don't need to prepare because it is the not the easiest way of speaking when you're paying attention to many sounds and ringtones and uh, prepare yourself but it is only yeah. initial so it is i mean it's essential for <laughs> for the first time and uh, so in some time let us know about your progress and uh, how everything is uh, going on with you. I will. Okay. No what? Right. And for the conclusion, to sum up uh, from Alexander, believe in yourself. Uh, you have your uh, team that you that supports you and believe in you. So practice more and use all your potential to to have this new habit well, with your with your natural speech. And yeah, we, are, we will be waiting for you results sometime later i will <laughs> i can because i will yes Great. Okay. okay have a good evening thank you goodbye thanks for the work